back. Within these EVs are very complex battery systems that are constantly evolving as OEMs are trying to develop new tech and protocols that not only make these batteries more powerful, but more efficient. And this constant evolution leads to batteries that can fail either partially or completely. And this is the first part of the Taycan depreciation problem. But yeah, I mean, the battery is the biggest component of every single electric battery electric vehicle, right? So, and battery chemistry, and it's, it's technology, right? Technology paces significantly faster than mechanics do. Your battery is not only it's the biggest source of weight, it's roughly like 30% of the weight of the, in the car itself, but it's also the biggest cost component and it's also the biggest supply chain source that you got to think about, right? So that's not specific to Taycan. That's true for every single battery electric vehicle on the market. So it is also true for Taycan as it is for everybody else. Well, let's not even talk about putting an entirely new battery in your Taycan out of warranty. Be ready to spend what an entire used Macan S would cost on a new battery for your Taycan. Yeah, I think I'm good. And word on the street is that Porsche mechanics aren't too happy either about the never-ending homework and training material they're being sent to keep up with the constant evolution of these vehicles. And I can understand that, especially when you might be able to make some more money in high-voltage battery work elsewhere. But in 2020, 2021, they had problems with cooling on the battery pack. They had contactor issues. Taycan, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was the first, at least larger produced car that was 800 volt architecture. So that was net new for a lot of people, including themselves. And they didn't have a lot of infrastructure in place. Like for instance, whenever they released the Taycan, there was no over the air software updates. So if there was a software problem, they actually had to bring the cars back to the dealer, right? Mm. If something that could have been solved over the air for everybody else, they couldn't do that. And while it may be frustrating from a technician's point of view, as a consumer, I'd want these vehicles to develop and evolve as quickly as possible to improve my end user experience. They, you could say that they definitely probably maybe argue they pushed it out too early, uh, but they fixed a lot of that, right? So in 2021, they started rolling out some software updates over the air that fixed some of the problems. They replaced, I think, all the contactors for the most part. Porsche also does some things that are a little bit different.